within over, just over a week ago, we had no idea that this travesty was going to happen. The, the saddest thing about it as well is that they've had people in the gay scene telling each other, well, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. But the truth is, it was being used. where the blame lies solely with force it ends at Stephen Cox. Yeah. 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 We are living in a climate yeah. where they want flats, which is by itself we need flats, but not for people that can't have bloody afford it. This is for rich people. So they are destroying our culture and our history. So you feel like you have every right to feel that. And um, ladies and gentlemen, let's just make sure uh, since the last government came in, 15 gay pubs have closed uh, in London alone. <laughs> this cannot, cannot happen again. We've had the support of uh, Camden Council, we've had the support of each other. Every time they put an uh, a, uh, application in, uh, yeah, uh, we have fought it. We have denied them five times this, and then at the last minute, they virtually stuck the two proverbial fingers up at you and shut these doors. And like I say, I have never been so angry about how the gay scene has been treated. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you, know, you do probably all know me. Um, I actually decided not to work here about 18 months ago. I could tell you stories that probably the you, you people do not know, but they, since the moment they took over this place, they had every intention to run it into the ground. And uh, so whatever...